Today is a beautiful day for some flea market and thrift store hunting. Let's go. Furman found these Pokemon VHS tapes. We got Charizard, Pokey Friends, and Johto League Champions here, the original Pokemon series. They're a little rough condition. The guy wants four bucks for them. So I'm definitely gonna pick these up. You normally see Pokemon tapes in clamshells because they were made for kids. So to actually see them in slip covers is very rare, and that's something that's important to me. So shout out to Furman, I'm getting these. Who remembers Yogi Bear? I do boo boo. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's pretty sick. Hanna-Barbera, 1962 uh, year. Man, this is a favorite cartoon of mine growing up. And we were fortunate here in Ohio that Kings Island uh, actually was uh, had the license for Hanna-Barbera. So we got to go and actually experience like a Yogi the Bear theme park, which is really cool. Berman, what do we got here, man? What do you see? So there's just this random drawer of like toys, Yo, what's comics. That? Whoa, look at that. It's Bam Bam. Bam Bam Rubble. This has got to be old. 1997, Hanna-Barbera. We're running into a lot of stuff. Yeah. From and the this Flintstones. This is a beautiful shape, too. It's like the seal is still very solid. How much solid are they asking for it? Like 450 or something? Four that bucks? doesn't seem bad, actually. That might be worth it. Look at that. That's pretty sick. We have Indiana Jones and the last crusade and the temple of doom the cool thing about these tapes they're part of a set so you'll see at the bottom there it says chapter 23 chapter 25 and the complete adventures of indiana jones my guess is these are a part of a set that comes with the young adventures of indiana jones which was like a tv show about indiana jones as a a, a kid travel back to where the indiana jones legend began so check this out it's called the secrets of back to the future trilogy hosted by Kirk Cameron. It looks like it's a behind the scenes look at how the Back to the Future movies were made. Only wants a dollar for it. That seems like a pretty sweet deal. This is Mel Brooks, History of the World Part One. Mel Brooks famously did uh, Spaceballs, uh, Blazing Saddles, amazing, hilarious movie, super funny, wants a buck. I think that might be worth the pickup. Check this out. This is sick. Tons of Hanna-Barbera here, but look, the Jetsons VHS Father Daughter Dance and Far Out Father. That's pretty sick right now. Three bucks. I don't really know anything about this, but having Jetsons on the VHS, definitely something I'm looking to collect. <laughs> It's a Dragon Ball Z and Powerpuff Girls like Happy Meal toy. So there's Bubbles in the Goku bag, and then there's uh, Frieza's brother, Cooler, right? Yeah. Cooler um, in that one. So you just handed me Homeward Bound 2, Lost in San Francisco. The first one is a phenomenal movie. I have that one on VHS already. I don't have this one. You're a VHS collector like me, so you know you've always got to hit your little button here flip up your tab and look at this. I'll be honest, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, you gotta inspect the quality. Um, and that's how you do it. You push that little tab that releases this. But I'm willing to bet, I, think, I don't think this tape has ever been played. Because even when you rewind a tape, you never see the clear part of the film. I don't think this has ever been played. I could be wrong, but I never see VHSs with the clear part exposed. Because I think once you play it the first time, that is always stuck in the tape. Matt and I were talking about Homeward Bound, and I look out of the corner of my eye and see the rest of the Dragon Ball Z Happy Meal toys. We just saw one no, earlier. These are Happy Meal. These are Burger King. Oh, excuse me, Burger King toys. I can't tell Here's who this is, Matt. That's is that Piccolo or Goku? I see. He's got like the little V on. I see. Uh, 
Um, it's really the, hard to tell. Krillin, I think. It's Krillin? Oh, I, think I see a ball head. Killin'. Yeah, we can, it's Krillin. We, we can hard pass Krillin. I think I said Killin, but that's because he dies a lot. He kill. He got Killin a lot in that saga. Help me! You might not know this about me, but I'm a pretty big Alice in Wonderland. Can you show the cover so we can see? Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. And I believe Through the Looking Glass is also in here. How much is it? So it is $4, and I just found a sold listing on eBay for 60 and it's the only listing. Matt, what'd you just find? So we got a cool old Peanuts thermos. Not Peanuts like the snack, Peanuts the cartoon, Charlie Brown. And the best part about this, it's got the sippy attachment. Bam. It's always better with the straw. That's right. Just make sure it's not the last straw. <laughs> Eric, I think I'm about to become a wild thing. Cause look at this. Soundtrack for Major League on cassette tape. That's sick, man. Good old Charlie Sheen in the middle there. It looks like it's in beautiful condition. Too. No Wesley Snipes though on it. Wasn't Wesley Snipes in Major League? Yeah. Future yeah. Eric, when you edit this, put that answer in there. Cause I don't know. Upstairs, we found Indiana Jones, and I held off on getting those because of this. Here you go. There's all three of them in a box set, and yeah, I think I'm gonna pick this up. Matt, why do you have a, a cake pan? Because it's Rugrats. Oh, that's sick. Does it have a year on it or anything? Um, Let's see. Here. 1998 Viacom International. 1998. That's official, baby. Yo, so check this out. I just found a last Starfighter Viewmaster. Very cool, something I've never seen before out in the wild. This is it. Here we go. Charge! So Matt, what'd you just find? I found a random Darth Maul lunchbox. It's really clean on the inside. Let's see the damage. I was gonna say everything in here. Three dollars sold. Sold. No contest. Yo, so we were getting ready to leave, and I just came over here to film some quick B-roll, and I see this water bottle, uh, the Simpsons uh, water bottle specifically. Jared isn't with us today, unfortunately. He's with Amy and Corbin of Cheap Finds Gold Mines. But look at that, 1990, 20th century Fox film, the Simpsons water bottle. They're asking 14. I don't really know how much this goes for, but I'm gonna pick it up for Jared. So you're welcome. Uh, here's for you, man. All right, we just finished hunting. We're about to go eat later. Oh,